I got a tip last night from my fence. Heartless Perry. A nobleman named Lord Julian had some sort of quarrel and showed up at a local inn well after nightfall and in a foul mood. He's carrying a velvet bag about the size of a man's fist and it never leaves his sight. Sounds likely to be valuable, but I'll know for sure when I steal it from him. Perry sent over a floor plan of the place, the Blue Heron Inn. Finding his lordship won't be hard. His room number will be in the guest register, if I can get to the front desk to read it. The inn will have guards, but not as many as a private estate. That should make things easy, which is one of the reasons I'm willing to try it without knowing for sure what the take will be. Lord Julian is so protective of that bag. There's got to be something of value in it. just Julian.
His lordship has gone for a walk. Can't have gone far. Well, you're a cook. What could you know? Every evening after sunset, the supply wagon comes through that gate and into the courtyard, and no one looks twice. Arrange for your men to be inside one evening. And then we cut our way through. Five good men against twenty. And my accursed... My pouch. It's gone. Guards! Guards! Gah. What's going on here? Hello? Sound. The bag feels heavy. Probably my old There's apple. something metal inside. I won't hurt you. Well, Come out. Sometimes your ears play... Oh boy! <laughs> I thought you I were some danger. You. You're in trouble. Feels heavy. There's something ah, metal ah, inside. Ah, you taffer! You've had it! I won't hurt you. Close one. But I've still got, got the goods. Hey, I have to put my foot down. What's that all Come about? This instant. The bag feels heavy. There's something metal inside. Come out, miss. I'm sure you're a pretty thing. Better see what that was. So far, so good. Chances are it's nothing. Trying not to get too worked up. I'm going to get help. Are you all right? Ha! There you are! Let's see what you're made of! Ha! Try again, Tapper! Try to get yours! should rightfully be mine. If I may, my lord, I can help you. I know the castle. <laughs> well, well you're a cook. What could you know? Every evening after sunset, the supply wagon comes through that gate and into the courtyard, and no one looks twice. Arrange for your... Something! Move! Ha! Every evening after sunset, the supply wagon comes through that gate and into the courtyard, and no one looks twice. Arrange for your men to be inside one evening. And then we cut our way through. Five good men against twenty, and my accursed...
forget, Lord Ember has another. I hear he guards it with his life. My lord, I wish only for peace in the household. The opal is mine. I won that bet, Morris. I won it. Nothing like mixing in society, especially if it comes with good loot. The velvet bag turned out to hold a bronze medallion stamped with a griffin. Valuable enough, but more interesting was the conversation I overheard between Lord Julian and the cook. Especially the part about a huge opal and a conspiracy for stealing it. I'd hate to have anyone but me get a stone like that. fence take a look at Lord Julian's medallion. Perry says the crest belongs to the Rutherfords, one of the oldest so-called great families with a castle in South Quarter and a street named after them. They've got a lot of wealth and a nasty reputation for turning on each other. Based on that conversation I overheard, Julian is definitely carrying on the family tradition. Lord Ember, Julian's cousin, currently resides in the castle and Julian wants revenge. Julian had a good plan. Hide inside a supply cart and ride in after dark, then signal the cook to open the side door by putting out the lion's head torch in the courtyard. A good enough plan for me to use myself. That bloodline opal sounds valuable, and it's better off with me than sitting around in their vault. But I can't get lazy. Ember will have his personal guard and doubtless a few other family tricks in store for anyone who comes after the opal.
the signal. Quiet tonight. It's the rain earlier. Everyone's gone in. Black as pitch out here. They doubled the watch. This castle's as old as South Quarter. See the way the stone is? Who's oh with the God. lights? It's a I hope that cook is as good as his word. Maybe? Well, it's a beautiful woman. Nothing. It bring me gifts That's a relief. How handsome I am. Hmm. Thought I saw. Is that somebody? Everywhere. No, I gotta get out of my hair. Oh. Mm. Someone hit me! What the heck? Someone there?
again. Well, I figured it was nothing. I probably just imagined it. There it is again. Hell's bells! Lady Elizabeth is a proper lady. She attended Lady Pollock's school for young ladies, and she can write in both ancient brilliant and modern prinkish. <laughs> well, I guess that's something. Your Lord Ember's knowledge of the world is limited to the names of his ancestors and equine diseases of the mouth. Hey, the torch went out! I like the way she looks at me. Like sneaking about or something. Well, you are a bit unkempt. It's them stairs. She has me a <laughs> Some kind of sound? <gasps> what was that? Very weird. Hmm. I'm probably <laughs> making the whole May as well make certain.
poisons. Better make sure I wash my hands when I get out of here. Such sad evidence of mortality. Wait, what if the murderer was trying to get me? <laughs> I had thought you were some danger. <laughs> I had thought you were some danger. if anyone will pay more for a matched set.
Rutherford Family Vault. That opal is as good as mine. So this is what they all wanted. Well, it's better off with me. Bloodline Opal's mine now, and based on the size of this thing, I'd say it was worth it. But something tells me this Lady Elizabeth character had her own plans for the Rutherfords. I'd better get the Opal to Perry soon. He can cut it into smaller stones that are easier to move. And we'll both make a tidy profit. South Quarter, one of the city's most crowded residential districts in the center of town, near the river. It's not wall-to-wall -wall nobility like Aldale, but there's money here, if you know where to look. South Quarter's where I live, so I guess this is home. As long as I behave myself, I can go anywhere and do as I please, and the residents won't give me any trouble. But the city watch will. The entire force knows what I look like, and they'll attack me on sight. If I don't stay out of the way of their patrols, I might be looking at some jail time, or worse. First thing I need to do is see my fence, Heartless Perry. 